Good day, everyone. In our last uh, lesson, okay, we're still on active and passive sentences from English language. So this is basically for GSS one and two students because the skin, the stain is similar. So in the last lesson, we learned what subject, verb, and object are. I wouldn't go deep into that. So watch the video I was posted earlier on English language. So, now we can go further by identifying what the active and passive sentences are. Now, we want to see what active sentence is and what a passive sentence is. Let us, at this point, know that they are also referred to as voices. That is, so we could also call them active and passive voices. Sometimes you may see it as active voice and passive voice. Perhaps you read your original textbook like that. You can see active voice and passive voice. Don't be confused. It's still the same thing we're talking about. So, in a sentence, the doer of the action, that is the subject, I hope you remember this concept, is also made prominent. Yeah, the subject is made prominent. It is given no importance. It comes first. See the three things. The subject is made prominent. It is given more importance, importance and it comes first. Okay. In this kind of situation, we could say, the sentence is in the active voice. When it uh, you know, satisfies this condition, you say the sentence is in the active voice. Okay, let's go to the second part here. Meanwhile, the passive voice is the opposite. You know what opposite means. So, in this situation that is in the passive voice, the doer is downplayed. That is, is the doer, which is subject, is not given importance. That's why it is the opposite. Instead, the object is made more important. The object is given more significance in the passive voice. So, uh, examples of these two voices will come in the next lecture. I just want to give you guys a laid down foundation of what active and passive voices are. So, the next time we meet again, I'll give you profound and self-explanatory examples. That when you see them, you understand these things.